and determine where its offspring are, two believed to be in the U.S. and two more in Canada before it was shipped over the border. Billions of dollars are at stake for the American beef industry. This weekend's developments should show up in tomorrow's stock markets. Last week, the price for cattle futures dropped one and a half cents a pound. That's the maximum amount allowed. On the docks in California, containers filled with millions of dollars worth of beef, once destined for ports around the world, still sits in refrigerated trailers in port. Despite assurances that American beef is safe, nearly 30 countries have banned the import of U.S. beef. That's 90% of the American beef industry's foreign markets. So here's a list of which meat cuts the U.S. government says are safe against mad cow. Among them are whole cuts without bones, such as beef steaks, roast, liver, and ground beef from labeled cuts like chuck or round. For all the newest developments in the Mad Cow Scare, keep it here on Como 4 News. You can also get updates 24-7 on ComoTV.com and Como 1000 News. Fourteen years ago, a local man's quick thinking saved the lives of 184 people. Tonight, former United Airlines pilot Al Haynes is hoping to save another life, the life of his own daughter. Como 4's Joe Furia is live with their story. Joe? Kevin, Captain Al Haynes is helping his daughter raise more than $150,000 to pay for a life-saving transplant. I have serious doubts about making the airport. Have you got uh, someplace near there? His heroic actions saved so many lives. Somehow, Captain Al Haynes and his crew managed to crash land this crippled DC-10 in Sioux City, Iowa back in 1989. 112 people died, but miraculously, 184 survived. Oh, great. That's wonderful. Al Haynes is on the about, phone uh, with one of those survivors who called offering to help Haynes raise money for his daughter's life-saving operation. That was the gentleman in 13B on the air. I could have been having the transplant done and be done and be getting. For a bone marrow transplant.